Welcome to another edition of Friday at 420. My name is Mike Neighbors, and over the next 40 minutes, some uh, great local comics are going to make you laugh. That's our new promise. <laughs> I'm looking I at them all. They're like, whoa, dude, you can, really? You can do it. We're going to do our very level best. Uh, it is Friday at 420. Uh, let's introduce our panel right away, out of the gate. It's Patrick Capolino. Buongiorno. Buongiorno, Patrick. Buongiorno. Uh, Manolis Zantanas. I love standing you. closely by <laughs> Did I do it right? You know, uh, you know what? Uh, Ticanis? Ticanis. Um, uh, it's so funny, and I know, Patrick, you probably run into this all the time, right? But you'll, you'll like it, be in a text conversation with Manolis, and then all of a sudden you get, like, you know, kissy lips and stuff, and, like, he, yeah. he, you send the weirdest damn text, I text, send dude. a double kiss. Pictures of his uh, bowel oh, movement. Oh, so it's not just me. Thank goodness. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, that voice you heard is the lovely Angelica Scanura. How are you, Angelica? What's up? I'm good. Yeah, excellent. Uh, Angelica joining us from Toronto. She's our guest comic this week. And uh, although you do have, it looks like really an unwieldy growth to your side there. Hello. Yes. Hello. And it talks. Chris Adorante's in the house. Feliz Navidad. Hey, Chris, how are you, man? I'm well, thank you. Uh, we were just talking about the fact that you now ta- you've taken the lead now. Most appearances on Friday at 420. Right. Three. Who, who's behind me? Jason? Jason's got two, I think. You're, well, yeah, Jason had two. Now you're yeah, you're officially in the lead. You are the Baldwin of... <laughs> <laughs> you're beating joke Jesus? Chris Adorante is back Thanks, in the house. Man. And uh, Angelica, back to you. You're from Toronto. Yes. Yeah, always like born and raised? Toronto? Born and raised. Okay, yes. and uh, what brings you out to the hammer? Uh, just the show? I Yeah, the show. Excellent. Well, I always that's good. have great comedic times in the hammer. Oh, that's good. You, you've, and you've obviously made friends with these uh, fellow uh, comedians? Yes. And they're <laughs> A all, little bit? <laughs> yeah, this degenerate here next to me, oh, yeah. Chris Adaranti. Yeah. Chris, Chris uh, Beer Spilling Adaranti. Oh. oh, yeah, let's not go over that. Let's not relive that. Was that. A, that, was a, that was a rough night. <laughs> that, that, that was a rough yeah. night. Yes, it was very rough for our computer too. All right, listen. Let's. What do you What do you say we play the game, kids? Let's get right into it. This is yes. Friday at four twenty. I have uh, twelve official Bell Media envelopes in front of me with twelve random topics. The comics do not know the topics before we reveal them, and we have our plinko board set up. So, uh, since you're a very first time here, Angelica, we would love you to drop a plinko puck and find out what our first topic is going to be. I've always loved the Price Is Right, so I'm excited. Who for this hasn't? Season. This is awesome, right? A little plinko. Here we go. There it goes. All right. Number four. Angelica Sconorda. Number four. Here we go. If you had to lose one, which would it be? Uh, Your sight, your hearing, or your ability to speak? Which one's it going to be, Angelica? Um, Which one could you do without? I could do without my ability to speak, quite frankly. I'm annoying. And uh, (laughs) usually... I swear a lot. Everyone could do without her ability to speak. (laughs) Whoa, look at this. I know. Adoranti over here. Very brazen. Yeah, no, I've always... uh, That's why I started doing stand-up was so that I could try to say something smart eventually. Okay. It really (laughs) really actually... I've never... Really working it. Yes. Yes. Uh, and and then uh, obviously the reverse of that is that you want to keep your hearing and your ability to see. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, those are big ones. Seeing is believing. Yes. Although as a stand-up comic, I would have thought really everybody in the room, nobody was going to give up speaking. Right. Uh, nobody you- needs to hear anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Chris Adaranti, which one are you going to uh, take a powder you're on? You're right, man. Like I was think I was going to say the same thing until it hit, it hit me the same thing that like you just said. Like then you just can't do stand up comedy, I guess. Right. Unless you just do a prop comic or like Dimitri Martin with signs, but I guess um, you could be a mime. Yeah. Like a mime comic. You know what? Honestly, man, this is crazy. But I love I love music so much. I'd say sight before sound. sight. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's a tough. Qu- I love I music, mean- man. Like I wouldn't be I wouldn't be able to like. I wouldn't like to be able to never listen to like my favorite bands like the hip or like other bands again. Like I wouldn't I would I would rather not be able to see. It would uh it, it is it is not yeah, I mean obviously nobody wishes it upon anyone. Right. We, we you know <laughs> like it's a horrible question, but it is it makes you think yeah. about your senses and it makes you appreciate your senses better oh, wait, when you think sh- about it. Yeah, you, you know want to change when Angelica's back I mean, all this was about to and go. everything and I like it, but d- damn I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it'd be a blind comic. All right. There you go. (laughs) So she changed her answer from speaking to actually I choose none of them. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Yes. Well, you have to choose one. Manolis, which one are you choosing? I'm choosing uh, ears. (laughs) Hearing. (laughs) Ears. (laughs) Hearing. (laughs) He's just losing the ears. ears. You don't do they, need to lose your ears? No, you they keep cut your ears. No, dude. that's not. That's not. They cut them right off. 
<laughs> and then, then you can't hear. But then I don't have to like I don't have to worry about writing anymore because I can't hear. So I'll just sign use sign language. You're gonna learn sign language. If I use sign language, then I don't I don't have to worry Wait, worry about spelling. Wait, what do you mean you don't have to write? Yeah. Yes, you'd have to write even more. Not, not my world. <laughs> I'm, only de- I'm gonna only deal with other people that also can't hear. <laughs> Well, you can still Have see, fun with that. and can you can read. I can read lips too, oh, that's and true. I can read. Yeah, I'm just. Okay. I just don't want to write. <laughs> no, okay, I just don't want to write. Don't read or write, Patrick Coppolino, Save uh, us from ourselves. As an introverted person, I, I would easily get rid of talking, speaking. Okay, uh, and I, as much as I love stand up, unlike most of my friends, I'm uh, multi talented. I can. Do oh! I, there's a lot of other things I can do to He'd make. You become money. the the cook. Good, good answer. Good answer. <laughs> the yes. silent cook of Hamilton. All right. <laughs> he can use his mouth for other things. Chris Adirondi. <laughs> On that thought, Chris, would you Keeping get up and plinko warm. for us, my friend? Patrick Coppolino is who inspired me to start cooking. Oh, like his. Sorry, I thought you were going to say. Com- I thought you were going to say comedy. He's starving. He inspired no, you to no, start comedy. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe to quit. <laughs> yeah, quit comedy. What'd you get there, Chris? Number one, baby. Number one. Number one. Chris Adaranti, your topic is, what's the last thing you think about before you go on stage? Oh, my God. Yeah. I, I last think, thing. Last thing I think about yeah. is not tripping like I did last Wednesday. Oh, no. Pa- yeah, Pat brought me up on stage. Oh. And remember that? I literally, I had a couple beers, I guess, before I went up. And I literally... Stage is a little bit higher than a normal step, and uh, I was wearing new boots. That's the excuse I'm going with. <laughs> so I didn't know the height on him. Remember that? I just tripped. I fell flat yeah. on my face right on the stage. Oh, man. Yeah. So, uh, now, so that, now, now that's what I think about so before the, I go on stage. The last thing you think about Don't before fall. you go on stage is walking. Don't fall. That's but, awesome. but I guess it's kind of a good thing because it's like, well, at least I know the worst that can happen is I'll fall on stage. Yeah. And I still had a decent set. Yeah, it's a big entrance, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's pretty funny. It's that's like probably, a little yeah. slapstick off the top. Yeah. No, wouldn't it, was, it work out that way? Yeah, it, it was. was uh, and I gave him a nice intro too because it was a contest, and he's a previous winner of the contest. So I'm like, he's oh. previous winner, like he's coming back, he's trying for another a third time, and then he <laughs> bails as soon as he gets on stage, just oh, completely wipes right out. On my Man. Face. Oh yeah. So that's what I think about. What was your immediate uh, comeback when that happened? What, what, when you got up and now you're at the mic, what'd you say? You started crying. I, I cried. <laughs> I just cried, and then I ran away. Did you- I- and cry for real? I did. I cried and I left and I ran and then I won. It was the funniest thing anyone had seen all night. <laughs> Patrick Coppolino, what's the last thing you think of before you go on stage? Mm, I don't know. No, you got I've, nothing. There's not a whole lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a lot. You don't think, you know, remember this or remember to do this or oh, think about that. No, I'm such a scatterbrain. I'm you just, just wander out there and. Yeah. He's thinking yeah. about his other talents. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 That's very good, Angelica. <laughs> very talented. good. And it comes back to Hunt Patrick. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Manolis, what's the last thing you think about before you go on stage, my friend? I try I try to put myself in like a silly place so I so I can be. Just try silly. to be silly. Yeah. 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 I, I remind myself that I'm connected to the universe and that everybody's also <laughs> connected to the universe. So they're going to be so, nice to you? Well, I feel, I think feel we're, all, we're, all, we're all separate, but all one. And then that way I feel like that this is just one thing happening at once. That's not Girl really, penis, out yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> That's not really uh, uh, silly as much as it is pretty deep. I I actually mean what I just said. I really do that. I remind I remind myself that that we're all just connected. I okay. feel it too when he gets up on there. I feel like I'm up there with him too. You feel connected. Do you want to share a mic with him? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, Angelica, what's the last thing you think about before you go out on stage? Um, to speak slowly. Okay. Pace and, pace is hugely important, right? Yeah. Yeah. And don't insult the audience with a certain word that I like to call them oh, okay. every now and then that I will refrain from <laughs> saying right it's a now radio for the sake show. of editing. You're the best, Angelica. Thank you, because I know I would have to mark her another one at nine minutes. I'm very aware. Uh, uh, yes, everything. absolutely. All right. Uh, whose turn is it to Plinko? Manolis, oh, is it mine? drop a puck. No. I said puck, Angelica. <laughs> six. 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 Yes, yes. Yeah. She's on fire tonight. All right, here we go. Number six. Manolo Santanos, the thing that drives this is good that we have a female in the audience. I was uh, or in the on the panel. How do you know I'm a female? Ah, well, I was guessing. Uh, the <laughs> thing that drives you most crazy about the opposite sex that they don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> it's fi- I find it actually very annoying. So. I, I can imagine that would be very annoying. Um, yeah. I, I I love I honestly love women. There's nothing. I love There's women so much. You so don't. They're 
There's nothing. No, I think they're. I think they're perfect in so many ways. Oh, oh, oh wow. wow. Okay. We're all connected. I think like the how many? The, yeah, the, there's a lot the, of wet car seats the, out there right I now. I think <laughs> love is comes from like when you're born. The love that you get from your mother is the de- is the definition of where love comes from. Right. I right. think that love that you feel is what everything becomes. <laughs> <laughs> who, who, invited, <laughs> who invited Deepak Chopra today? Who invited Deepak? Listen, yeah, we, we just, we, I love, I love, and I, I, we just I like sat around too, with, we just right? sat around, <laughs> <laughs> we just sat around with Jerry Hall doing a show and Manolas got all deep on us. He's like, yeah, you're in a really, uh, in a space right now, Manolas. I don't know, man. It's a comedy show. It's just, I know, but I've just been, I've been doing mushrooms for too long. <laughs> Your aura is orange. Mushrooms and boobs. Patrick Coppolino. Uh, what's the thing that drives you crazy about the opposite sex? Uh, well, besides that they think they're equal to men. Because that's annoying. Oh, hashtag me too. Um, no, I don't know. I, I'm on, uh... <laughs> I love women. I trying to get in they trouble. Lo- they love you too. I'm just trying to say: um, is there something, especially when it comes to the, uh, you know, we are different. I mean, there are differences, right? As much yeah. as everybody wants to 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 try to sure. to build I, these bridges, and I totally get that, and I'm in favor of that. But yeah. we are different. We should celebrate those. We are different. I don't and, like and, knowing that if I break up with a girl, uh, how much easier it's going to be for her to get laid again. <laughs> there you go. All right. Me. Much like Manolas. That's a good answer. That is a very good answer. All right. I'm going to save the best for last. So, Chris, we're going with you now. Uh, Chris, I know. That's why I'm saving the best for last. You get to. Okay. And there's another swear word. 1207. Edit mark. 1207. Uh, uh, Chris, uh, what drives you crazy is about the opposite sex. You're sitting right next to one. So be careful. The way they drive. The way they drive. That's it. That's it. Wow. I said it. I said it. Oh, you said it. Said it. Oh, man. All right, and he's not even going to explain. I'm just I think it's pretty self-explanatory. self-explanatory. Figure it out, ladies. Start paying attention. Oh, uh, Angelica, nah. you get to answer on behalf of all women everywhere. Okay, yeah. All right. No, please. This is not on behalf of all women okay. everywhere. Um, nothing really bothers really? me about the opposite sex. No. no? No, you, I have problems with specific people. Like, okay. I'll find different things wrong with different men, but don't we all find different things wrong sure. with each other? And sure, then we're like, yeah. yeah. But, but as a generalized as a, category, as you're not going to no. throw them all into love the bus or something? Love men, okay. love them. All right. Love the way, do you love the way they drive? <laughs> I love the way you yeah, said yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I'm a, I'm a terrible driver, and all right. I get it. Yep. Excellent. Okay. Well, that is that topic. Whose turn is it now? Patrick? Patrick Capolino. Uh, you're not the best driver either, Chris. Uh, actually, I am the best driver. This guy, like he, he, he drives so close to the other car. I feel like he wants to be on top of the That's car. That's not true. I just yeah, you're a close driver. Tailgater. You're not tailgater. Good, you're, not, you're not the best driver. That's you terrible. Know what? We're gonna have words. I can't believe you put me on that, blast. Oh, there are gonna We're be gonna words, have my have friend. Words. Dude, like I just feel like tension when Patrick, I'm in the car with Patrick, what about you? How do you think I drive? No comment. Jeez. Oh, that's it. Unbelievable. <laughs> what number did you get, Patrick? Uh, five. Number five. Here we go. This is Friday at 420. We're grinding through the topics with our special guests, uh, Chris Adaranti and Angelica Scanura. And uh, as well, Manolis and Patrick are always here. Uh, Patrick, what do you do most? Uh, what do you most identify with in your heritage? Looking at your lineage, Patrick, what do you most identify with? You are Pasta. Italian and uh, what? Italian Irish or Italian, something? No, full just Italian. Uh, just full Italian. Yeah. But it, I think ev- I think everyone who's met Patrick for the first time thinks he's part Irish. Yeah, because well, yeah. his it's, name's Patrick, which isn't he's, he's an Irish. Patrick yeah, Copolino. Patrick Copolino. Yeah. <laughs> 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 See, there you go. That's what I. Yeah, I, uh, for some reason I had Sorry you. Sorry to interrupt, uh, but I thought pe- same thing, Irish. So, yeah. yeah. What do I? So what do you, what do you identify with? What is it about the Italian culture? You go that I really identify with. There are other things. Pa- pasta, pasta. Oh, and all cooking day, and pasta. the eating yeah, and the you cooking. You should see his pasta the... picks, man. Yeah. Pasta <laughs> picks. Yeah. Got some pasta picks. Yeah. Uh, the I cooking and the pasta. eating and all that. Yeah, yeah. That's that's, that's what you identify. It. All right, oh, Mister. You're, you're, you're I wasn't the... paying attention. You're... What was the question? It's weird. You lost weight when you started cooking more, which is what happens, right? Yeah. Uh, you are of uh, Greek heritage. Yes. Uh, what do you identify with most from your heritage? What do you What do you think? Like something that's that's Greek that you go. That's I. That, I identify with that. Yeah. Um. Apparently. Apparently. <laughs> bum sex. <laughs> no. 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 That's not an answer. I have a theory that's though. Not, hold no. on. Go. 
I'm just going to have to edit. I'm not saying I'm into it. I'm not. I'm not saying I'm. No, I am into it. But like when people find out I'm Greek, they just assume that that's why. Why? Why is that? I don't know. Because I think they did invent bum sex. Okay. But I think they. I think they're like. There's a oh, thing I've they say like they were the like show. they there was a time where like there, sex <laughs> with women was regular was just, was just, just the for, usual just the huge people right but then and then they, party and then they time said was, hey okay <laughs> so they had <laughs> was like so was bum time all right so but what's my, the theory they Greeks this is actually real Greeks invented plumbing <laughs> Plum, so yeah oh, so they yeah, invented, no, I see. I can see where you put the two like, things, the like, parallels they, there. They're like they invented plumbing, and then then one guy, the guy that did it, was like, "Wait a minute! All right, hey, plumbing. hold on a second. I know what else? You ever notice all their foods are like souvlaki shaped? They like putting things <laughs> yes. on skewers. Oh my <laughs> lord! It just okay. I, <laughs> that's a good answer. Skewers. But uh, yeah, but um, yeah, but I got nothing else. <laughs> I don't. I you know what I do love though about they. They're gyros in Greece. Gyros. Yes. gyros. Yes. They yeah. uh, they in Greece they put the French fries in the gyros. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. They do. They do. And so there is a place near me that does that, and it was amazing. French fries yes. in your gyro. That that would have been such a better answer than bum sex. They know <laughs> that would have. We could have just gone right to that answer. That would have been outstanding. We could have moved on. It would have been. French it would have been a great show. Gyro. You guys are killing me here. Angelica, you look lovely. What what uh, what uh, heritage are you? Oh, gosh. Here we go. You got a okay. mix going on? Uh, are you a mixed breed? Yes. I'm Maltese and Maltese. Irish. Maltese and Irish. Okay. Mm-hmm. So uh, either or, uh, either or both of those, what do you identify with of that, of that heritage? Different, like the anger. <laughs> the the anger. temper is definitely Mediterranean. <laughs> okay. And then Irish my. Not. I like that. Yeah, Irish people. Yeah, can get... no, they're a different kind of crazy. Okay. So it's two kinds of crazy. Right. Some things kind of cancel each other out. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> like, I like meat and potatoes in rainy weather. Okay. But, okay. That's, but that's... I, I will like, I will. I have my dad's weird temper, which is quite fun and okay. entertaining. It's, yes. it's yeah, really... Oh, yeah. It, yeah, it escalates quickly. What, what is it? What does it go like? Like so, it's just it's a it's a quickness to it. Yeah, yeah, a and it's just the things that are said. Like my dad just met this guy, and he was like, "Yeah," he bumped into him a couple times, and then he was just like, "Yeah, you know what? Uh, if there was a dog left alone with you, you'd probably be pregnant by the end of the night." I'm like, oh, "Hey!" Oh wow, he stepped it up fast. What, like wow, it escalates very quickly. very quickly. Excellent. Well, yes. that's good. I, I you, you chalk that up to the heritage. Yes, it's definitely a okay. heritage thing. Okay. I come from a family of gamblers, swindlers, gold diggers, <laughs> and generally unsavory oh, people. <laughs> We're all a bunch of pirates. That's awesome. On both ends. You sound like a fun person to hang out with until you get mad. Uh, Chris Adaranti. Uh, organized crime for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I love doing all things illegal and selling things. Uh, That's outside. awesome. No, but um, apart from that, for real, uh, what I really love to do at least once a year is um, like the making of wine. Oh, but, nice. Yeah, I love to make wine. Yes. And the making of, yes. <laughs> we get uh, Manolis to stomp on the grapes. Yeah. Because why we do that? We make wine and also He's like... Uh, um, sex grapes? <laughs> I don't see how that applies. I don't see it either. And... So you love the wine? I can forget. Yeah, 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 no. <laughs> yeah no. The making of the wine. Yeah, the making of the wine. Yeah, All right. The of the wine. Uh, let's uh, Plinko again. Whose turn is it to uh, to drop a... To, no, did Patrick just dropped oh, that. No, it's hers. No, we, we got oh, Angelica. Oh, yeah, you, yeah, you went first, Angelica. <laughs> Kalamata oil is good yeah. too. You ever have that? The oh, witchy yeah. one? Kalamata oil. Kalamata oil. Like yeah. Olive oil. Yes. Olive oil. Oh, okay. Yeah. Manolis Excellent. gave me a jar of it. It's incredible. Excellent. That's like from your heritage again. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And now that's right. something else I could have said. Something else yeah, you could have good... said. That's, we got all kinds of things you could have said. Yeah, all... Number five. All right. I'll, I'll say too that olive oh. oil is incredible. We like did I... five. Is there a big number near five there? Uh, 11? 11. Let's try 11. Here we go. <laughs> our Plinko board's not perfectly set up, so we are making our making the best of it. Um, does what, Angelica, so this is another stand-up comedy question. We like to mix mix in wild topics with stand-up comedy questions. Um, does what you wear on stage matter? Yes. That is something I am still grappling with. Oh, okay. It is very difficult to you th- find the perfect... Does it set the tone? 
It really does. I've noticed a difference. People are like, no, it doesn't make a difference. I yeah. find that makes a huge difference. It's I, like, uh, I don't know. I, I still don't know the answer. You got to look cute, but not too cute. <laughs> I find, because, okay, I'm a professional belly dancer. Okay. So sometimes I'll have to do stand-up comedy and then go to a belly dance show, and I get tarted the heck up for right, a belly dance right. show. And that's just how it is. But I'm like, I don't have time to do a smoky eye and do a set. Yeah. Because sometimes I bomb, but I think that's, People are like, it's in your head, man. I'm like, no, people are legitimately wondering why I put on a full face of makeup to go do this. And then, of course, I'm not going to tell everybody that I'm a belly dancer right off the top because then they're just going to be like, who is this yeah, weirdo? Yeah. And then I have to talk about that and I don't want to. And uh, it really, I know this, t- trust me, this is all I have to say. It's like, it's hard. And um, <laughs> you don't want to look too dumpy either. That's the thing. Right. Because people are out like, on a Friday, Saturday right. night. And it's like, why is this girl coming up with her like yeah. track pants she bought at Byway in yeah. 99? Right? Like, it's like. Not that there's anything wrong with Byway. Byway's coming back, apparently. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, it is coming back. I find it does matter. And uh, Now, I, I want to ask you just a follow-up question quickly, Angelica, because yeah. I think this is important. Do you think it matters more uh, being a female comic than a male comic? Um, Does it, do, yeah, they, do you get I, judged more? Well, yeah. Like, if you... you, you sh- I, I Okay, here's the thing. I saw a female comic that at JFL, and she had her boobs out, and they're beautiful. I love boobs. The thing is, everybody loves boobs, and when boobs are around, nobody can really look at right, anything right, else. Right. And I'm, I'm sorry, but it's true, and it's, it's just true. how we're humans, and, <laughs> and boobs are around, and it's like, oh, they're boing. Boing, yes. And it's like if I'm trying to make people laugh, I don't know. I, I You don't want to distract them too much. It, but you want to distract them just enough. I'm not going to act like it doesn't mean anything. Okay. You know, it That's does. That's awesome. Uh, Manolis, uh, since she was speaking of people who love boobs, uh, d- dressing for stage, what, what do you think well, about I that? Agree, and you give a lot of advice to a lot of young comics. What do you say about dressing? Well, I agree with everything she says about for like for like for what it's like to be a mm. woman comic. I think as a man too. If a girl is too hot, it's gonna be. I, it's gonna guys, be hard. Guys are like, it's because everybody will want to say like, "Oh, that's not right to say something like that." But men are simple, okay? Yeah, and they're just like they see a pretty girl and they just turn into like the. And here's the thing, and I do believe that women, it's not in our evolution, uh, it's not in our biology to have to be funny to. Re- re- procreate whereas for men to to spread their seed they have to have all these skills and and they have to impress the women right. like they birds of paradise women, right? if you yes. look at if you look at the bbc planet earth birds of paradise segment i feel like that encapsulates us perfectly the men have to impress and the right. women decide you know the men propose the yeah, women yeah. dispose and yeah. it's the plights and advantages of either gender and it's like i, I it's it's just not in our we don't have to be funny to have babies. Right. Is but men, it's like it's a oh, thing. And when sure. beautiful, whatever beauty's in the eye of the beholder, if if whoever's watching the the female comic finds them attractive, it's like. And then we're also talking about our chooches and our stooches <laughs> a lot. So it's like it forces you to have to get into that, and then it, it creates a kind of weird tension. So to be able to like diffuse that aspect of it as much as possible. Right. I, I I would certainly go but with Manolis. still Manolo- feel cute. But you know? I'd go to with Manolis's point, which is a guy, right? The the yeah. hey, are you funny or not? Gets disconnected by oh my I'm god, not. you are so hot. Yeah, like right, it disconnects yeah. our all, unless, all of our other things. Unless I already had sex before I went to the show. Right, right, right. <laughs> and I'm a good. pent up demand. Women yeah. are the fairer sex, right? So absolutely, like, yeah. And then and then I, the men the men have to pursue. So back to dressing I, for comedy. I will. If it's a girl's too pretty, I will just not l- look at her and listen. And just listen to her comedy. But, that, but, believe but, it or not. But what about me, you? For me, I... Oh, I, I so good. It's genius. It's genius. It is true. You don't know me. <laughs> so not true. I'm just happy uh, you're saying I, this. I, I, I always so, say, I would just dress what makes you, where you feel... Where you feel comfortable. Com- comfortable. Right. I, love, I, I love Western shirts. Yes, you do. You're wearing yeah. one right now. Yeah. <laughs> I they feel, make you feel comfortable. They make me feel. You're comfortable. not really a Western guy. I don't. No, I don't listen to country no. music. No, I listen. I like That's, a little but, bit of country, but I'm not but, a country guy. But you guy. like Western shirts. I like. I like. I like feeling like a cowboy. It makes me feel safe for you some are reason. A yeah. Cowboy. But I, when I was when I was a kid, a growing up, and I know I've said this before. I uh, my one of my favorite shows was uh, uh, Dukes of Hazards. Right. Right. And and like even Dukes Andy Hazzard. Travis, we were talking <laughs> about him earlier. Yeah. He wore Western shirts. Yeah, too. Yeah, you're right. So oh. I so I associate Western shirts to. Uh, a time of uh, where I just felt safe. Yeah, 
And yeah. so I All feel right. safe when I wear Wow. Patrick Coppolino, how do you feel about dressing for the stage? Um, I do think it's important. Yeah. Uh, I'll agree that it's it's probably way harder for a, a female comics. Sure. Absolutely. Um, I think we can all agree with that. Yeah. For, for all the reasons that have been said. Yeah. Uh, but also for the man's uh, uh, perspective, uh, I think there is a line where it's too far, too, because there's, uh, there's a comic... I won't name, but his name it rhymes with Eric Johnston, and uh, <laughs> he <laughs> he thinks he's uh, Frank Sinatra. He wears a tuxedo. So on yeah, stage. he goes. He, he, he that's, that's part of his. I think that's stick. just as distracting as like okay. a, a woman right. wearing uh, something a little, yeah. a little more scandalous. You know, yeah, yeah, no, like, no, it's I like know. you can't stop, but like he's wearing a tux. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Chris I just don't like it when, uh, like, when there's there's a couple dudes that'll like they'll have their dick on one side. Of, oh, God. <laughs> um, they'll have their they'll have. I think their, actually we can say. Dick. Okay, okay. They'll have their penis really? though on one side, <laughs> and then they'll put their leg on a chair on the stool and like lean wow. in. And I'm just like, what are you doing? Okay, <laughs> that's peacocking. We call that. Uh, all right, Chris Adaranti, uh, what do you feel about dressing for the stage? Oh my God! All right. Um, <laughs> Well, I you know what? So to... now there's a new follow-up question. How yeah. do you feel about dressing for the stage, and what do you do with your penis? Right. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. I just tuck it straight back. Just straight back. Just, just tuck like it out of the way. Back there. <laughs> Excellent. Just I don't want to get involved. Um, dressing for stage. I guess you know what. Honestly, like it's it depends. Kind of when you when like when you're learning to kind of find your voice. I guess maybe it would matter a little bit. Like, um, like yeah. I guess you wouldn't. You wouldn't see me out there wearing a tux and then talking about, um, you know, the stuff that I do on stage that wouldn't go together. <laughs> right, right. So, like, lately I've really been trying to keep it pretty simple. Like, Casual. I literally will just wear, like, a black t-shirt. Well, that's yeah. like the, yeah. that's what Louis I C.K. wearing a black t-shirt and jeans was, like, the best, the smartest thing because well, it just I, I'll it be completely honest, takes away from I'll yeah. be honest with you. When we went away, when we went, we went, when we went, when we went to <laughs> Buffalo, <laughs> we went to Buffalo and Tom, every show, wore a black yeah, t-shirt and jeans. And that's when I was like, huh. Because then so. it's just the comedy, you know? Yeah. You're listening to Friday at 420. Our panel, uh, Angelica Scanura. We've got Chris Adaranti in the house. Manola Santanos. Patrick Coppolino. Whose turn is it to Plinko? Ladies and gentlemen. We are, they're all pointing at each other. Oh, my Lord. Who's, yeah, Chris Adaranti, go. Yeah, because that was oh, yeah. Angelica. Angelica yeah, was right. the last one. Okay. Sorry. That's Angelica <laughs> with a J, by the way, everybody. <laughs> Two, three. Number three. Here we go. All right. Friday at 420. So, so far, just so we're keeping, in case you're keeping score at home, uh, I'm up to five edits. We got to do five edits on this show. And there's only one person in the house. If you could talk to you at 17, what would you say? Oh, I know. You were waiting for this one, Chris. What would you tell yourself at 17? Keep it as simple as you want. It doesn't have to be deep thoughts. What would you tell yourself at 17? Smarten up, do this, get get go the, do the, better in school. The vacuum is not a sex toy. Wow. That's what I would say. All right. See, that's good advice. That's <laughs> Thank you. you don't find Thank that you. in a Brad that's Paisley what I would song. Tell my 17. That would change things a lot for me. <laughs> that would. <laughs> absolutely. And it would change things a lot for your mom who vacuums the house. <laughs> um all right. <laughs> Angelica. Uh you what would you tell yourself at 17? Eat it. Eat everything now. Yes. Eat everything good. now. Eat That's it now. Good. Eat it now. Excellent. Okay. I have two daughters in their 20s, and they would tell themselves the exact same thing. Just now tell them to uh, have the donuts because yeah, it'll eat, eat. just have eat them all. Eat everything you can when it's not staying on your body. Right? Yes. You burn it off just with the sheer pheromones. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Manolo Santanos, you got to go way back for this one. What would you tell yourself at 17? <laughs> I would say two things. Uh, number one, always pull out. <laughs> Okay. Of the vacuum. Of the vacuum. Uh, <laughs> and number two, uh, don't be afraid to cut friends out that are not good for you. That are, that are bringing you down, man. Wow. Get the negativity out of your life. A 17-year-old you dragged a lot of people around for a while not realizing that you should cut them out? Yeah. Oh, 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 point yeah. to Patrick. <laughs> didn't even know Patrick I wasn't at even alive when he was 17 Exactly, years old. Patrick. Uh, Patrick, what would you... <laughs> Patrick, what would you tell 17-year-old Patrick Coppolino? Uh, aim a little lower and everything will come true. <laughs> <laughs> what are these lofty goals are ruining you, kid? No, I'm I happy. love it. Absolutely. You're very happy. I love it. All right. Uh, Manolis, drop a puck. All right. Here we go. We only got 10 minutes left. How many times more times can Angelica swear in 10 minutes? Here we go. I am doing it. Let's find out. Five. What? Number five? We, we already did five. Give me a big number. Uh, we did 11. Yeah. Can we do 10. 10. Yeah, we can do 10. <laughs> just randomly. I don't think we need to use a Plinko board I don't, anymore. I I'm not numbers. sure the Plinko board works at all. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. All right. Let's talk a little bit about who you are as a person. 
Morning person or night owl? Oh, Manolo oh. Santanos. I mean, you guys all have to be night, yeah. but but are you naturally? It's the weekend. You have nothing to do. Are you a morning person or a night person? I'm a night person. I hate waking up. You hate everything about it. I hate. I hate waking. Even if I get sleep in, I still hate waking up. I wake up and I feel like I'm coming out of the matrix. It's just like, a, yeah. Like, you like, gotta, oh, oh, oh. Where am I? I always feel like where am I? What day is it? What's going on? I'm. I, you, you are know, lost. I, I hate the morning. It takes me a couple hours. I just started doing this new thing like a week ago, and it's brutal. But I take cold showers as soon as you get up. As soon as I wake up, it's I've sun- done that too. It helps it, me huge wake up. It's like you, you it's, wake up it, immediately. You yeah. know how it takes you. Like, I don't like really wake up till like three in the afternoon. <laughs> right, right. So like you really wake, want to get going. He's a consummate when it's, professional. Yeah, if I wake up at ten, I won't wake up till three. Like, right, right. Even so, though you're up and around. And yeah, doing, right. it takes me. I slowly wake up. I just so it's it's so psycho and I'm so dead inside that I just go turn on the cold water, turn on the shower, and just jump, and just take a actual dude. Cold how, shower. how hard was it though? Like the first couple times it's to like work still. up the nerve to do it. It's, it's, it hurts. It's, it's, it's like, like literally painful. Like like, it Whoa! is literally painful, like yeah. It's, and it's so beautiful, Bunch too. Bunch of friggin' queens over here. <laughs> uh, Patrick Coppolino, day, morning or night? Really uh, so honestly, uh, the last like month or two, something weird has happened. Yeah? <laughs> and I've become a morning person. You're much more morning. I used to be a, uh, yeah, stay up all night, sleep all day. Um, but the, I don't know if it's like, I uh, just turned 29. And okay. I'm like, yeah. I've been working with some successful people. I didn't realize I've been hanging out with these guys for right. too long. <laughs> and it's fun. I've actually noticed that about Patrick. I've noticed that about Patrick recently, too. Like, I'll get texts from him sometimes. It'll be at like, like 7 6 30 in the morning or something. And it's something work related. Yeah. And so it's he's like, already normally, up. he's already yeah, up. I'm, I'm still I'm, up. Yeah. And I'm still up. I'm still up no. waiting to go to bed. And he's already up starting his day. It's beautiful. I'm oh. proud of you, Patrick. I just, I'm just proud a of new you. thing I started. I, wanna, okay, look at me. I, I actually look forward to waking up. In the, like early, I want to. I want to be one of those like get wake up, up at five going. a.m. people. Yeah. Uh, well, lately, it's been around like ten or eleven. Like Good before for midnight, you, sir. Yeah, I wake up at like wow. six a.m. So when he doesn't party, he goes to bed early. He no, but I'm not when partying he's not anymore. No, he's always see that's, the, that's the same difference. Oh, yeah, it's over. Is it over, Patrick? The party's <laughs> over. We're and, being we're being choosy when we party. The morning uh, person when it is a party, it's a you're you're great. You're doing great. But I'm not and, partying anymore. That's why I'm not. Angelica, morning or night? I'm a morning person, but honestly, since I started doing stand up seriously, You've I'm to out to like one right. or two, and like I'll drink. Yeah. So it's very hard to yeah. sustain that, but, but I get but up as your early natural, as I can. But your natural state would be to be up in the morning, doing up things, in the morning. get going. Yeah, so Excellent. I found a way around it. I just, uh, I'll nap. I'll get up early still Yeah. after staying out till two, and then I'll just nap at like four, and then I'll go out and tackle the night. See, that's so, good. I nap. Go. I, I get up super early, and I nap every day, and it's a wonderful that's life. Great. I love napping. Uh, Chris Adaranti, yeah, you're, I'm a night night, you're a night guy, you and you go that. all you night, eh, dude? You know that, baby. You know yeah. that, Mike. Mike knows. <laughs> He's all night. <laughs> Me and Mike and I have seen yeah. the sunrise a few times <laughs> over that. <laughs> I am, yeah, definitely a night owl. Hate the morning, hate getting up, uh, and I resist. For some, like, I love being asleep, but I resist sleep for some reason as long as I can. Like, I just, I'm always, I'm up. Are you, are you super stuff. creative late at night? Yeah, Is yeah. that when, you're, when your creative I, stuff starts sure. flowing? Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll sit there, yeah. What about yeah. you, Manolos? You super creative late at night? Uh, more creative, yeah. More creative, yeah. And, creative and I, with creative with picking up checks. Oh for sure. yeah. I'm definitely uh, on the internet a lot more too. <laughs> <laughs> Brazzers. Hello, everybody. All right, whose turn is it to plinko? Patrick, I think uh, you're up to bat. Is it? No, yeah, it's Pat. Patrick. Yeah, Patrick Capolino. That was we just went around the horn. Manolas got the first, the first drop. Six. All right, six. This might be our last topic, so make it a good one, everybody. We did six already. Uh, Picking 11. A, 11. Uh, 11. We did 11. Uh, 12. 12. We haven't done 12. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, Patrick Coppolino. <laughs> yeah. This, you know what? This is a topic I wrestled with whether we should ask this topic, and it's not because of you, Patrick. <laughs> um, <laughs> Do you regret having children? I, I, <laughs> no. Uh, no, this goes back to, you ever, anyone watch the newlywed game? Remember the old newlywed game? They would ask the yeah. questions. All right. Uh, Patrick Coppolino, <laughs> strangest place you have made whoopee. Oh, the list is so long. Strangest place you have made straight. No, and the list isn't long if it's the strangest place. Strangest? Oh, I, the strangest place you have made whoopee. <sighs> Okay. Oh, Manolis is like literally. There is, uh, it looks like he's having a bowel movement. That's you just got that click on your face. Do you? There's so much to so for Manolis to go over. First one that I don't know. There was uh, uh, one of the buildings downtown here. They were still building it. Nice. Uh, so when it was construction under construction site. in there, yeah. Nice. <laughs> was it summer or winter? 
Uh, it was summer. It was nice. It summer. had to be summer. Yeah. It's funny yeah. to know that there's going to be other people probably in those condos eventually having yeah. sex. And you've already had sex. And like, <laughs> I broke the room in yeah, for him. Sorry, yeah. buddy. I don't I've think been, that's the first. weirdest. You know what, Manolas? I'm going to save you for last. Uh, Chris Adaranti. <laughs> Uh, church, actually, one time. What? Yeah, church. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah, it was in. A- what was the priest's name? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Father, uh, Father, Father Manoli. You know what? As good as that we, was, I'm going to have to edit that out. <laughs> That's what too bad. I'm just going to leave all the laughter, Manolis. Uh, what? What? Yeah. What happened? To, yeah, we, we were obviously it was in it was, high school. It was in high school, and we were doing like I don't know some monthly trip. We went to the church, right? And uh, the church was mostly empty. Church was mostly empty. They had like. Uh, they have actually like a separate kind of church down downstairs. Right. Yeah, a little church hall down there. Yep. Okay. And uh, I went to the washroom, and as I was coming up, um, another girl kind of was coming down. Yeah. And she and just kind of grabbed like, me, and uh, that was it. We went and bang said Bang a prayers. gong, get it on. Wow. And Angelica. Thank you, Patrick. Thank strangest you. Strangest place Thank you. you've ever made whoopee. Okay. Don't say a church, because that <laughs> no, would really, no, we'd all no. think things then. <laughs> Um, in a casino, in a casino in Aranjuez, Jackpot. in Aranjuez, which, which is like a small village outside of Spain. I mean, Madrid, right outside of Spain, okay. outside of Madrid, outside of Madrid. Yeah. Very nice casino in the casino. Yeah. In, in like a, like a, like a, like a hallway off the casino no. or were you literally it's a wheelchair bathroom? <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> well done, did you, Angelica. Did, did you need the wheelchair? Good after? job. <laughs> Good With job. The handrails. It's theirs, yes. I, yeah, with uh, but I put a paper towel over it so I didn't have to touch the. Oh, gym. excellent, uh, <laughs> Manolis, you've been dying here. What strangest oh, place? I about the pool. You've ever made whoopee? I was gonna say something else, but I used to uh, I used to work for I guess I can say it. I used to work for the city of Hamilton. You can't so. be fired now, brother. Yeah. And I used to, because I was in charge, I had, uh, like, when the, I was like a boss when the boss was in there, so I had keys. <laughs> and back, so the, back then, all the, the alarm system wasn't as advanced as that things are now. Sure. This was like the 90s, you know, or early 2000s. I would, uh, like, I could just turn off the alarm. You just open the door, turn off the first alarm. So I'd take, uh, I would take, uh, I would bring dates back sure. there. Sure. And I'd go swimming. And I would turn on the underwater lights, just the oh, and they love them. oh yeah, and just leave the overhead <laughs> lights <laughs> off. Oh yeah, and then we I love had, underwater lights. Yes, <laughs> I did it so much that I would like I had like a drawer at my work where it's like I had a bunch of stuff for when I so I'd had like a CD that I, I'd play like a Cowboys Junkie CD over the <laughs> over the with music. the underwater oh, lights. It was like it was like a really like oh. a. So yeah, I played. So this you thing. turned a public pool into your love path. Oh, yes, that's disgusting. Oh come on, that is fantastic. Yeah, Everybody, that's pretty good. And then come the, on. And then the family swim comes in at eight a.m. <laughs> yeah. exactly. And they're like, "Don't yeah. don't pee in the pool, kids." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm making kind of gross. I sh- can I? I but, but, I'm, but, but, I'm literally making humans in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't it? Doesn't it wash away the vital? What. I can't say it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but, you know, no. It's, but the, sh- it, it, the shame works. doesn't wash away, It all though. works out. It all works out. It all works out. It all works out, out. Yeah, it depends what you do. Everything, everything washes away except the shame. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think, you know what, I, I mean, because we all can understand that somebody, you know, the uh, the act of being able to make love in a beautiful setting that you've created there is fantastic. My only thinking on it immediately is the fact that there were nights there were no girls and the lights were still on and the music was still playing. It's just me <laughs> swimming by myself. You know there were nights, people. Sure. There were What's nights. that sticking out of the water? <laughs> Cowboy junkies were still oh, on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you have oh. french fries in your euros? <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, uh, you know? Everybody, uh, we know what we're out of time. Oh, it was fantastic! What a great group, Chris Adirandi. How do we follow you on social media? All right, follow me at uh, at you give it on uh, Twitter and uh, Instagram, or just follow me on Facebook. Awesome, you give around. it. That's Chris Adirandi, Angelica Scanura. How do um, we follow you on the social at media? Scanooch, S C A N O O C H. They call me Starfish Scanooch. At Scanooch, <laughs> easy peasy. Thank you so much for making the trip in from Toronto, Angelica. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having you me. You were an you awesome welcome. guest. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Manolas, how are we following you? Uh, Manolas Santanos and any social media and Merry Christmas. I, I guess I can say that, right? <laughs> Take it easy. All right. <laughs> Patrick Capolino, how do we follow you on social media? Uh, at Bob Ross. At Bob Ross! No. Yay! No, really? 
Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this has been Friday at 420. What a great group. Thank you so much for playing along. We really appreciate it. Please don't send me emails complaining about what you heard. Uh, Until we get a chance to talk to you again in seven days, have a great weekend.